David Fudge, and I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Rehair Ingovaje, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do and I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way so when I found uh, CTU I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible the support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. And there's a lot of the uh, the people that I've met here uh, the instructors and you know the other students too. Fausto and the team really took a, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people and I've gotten to know a few online and here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day and I was impressed and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. An amazing guy. Um, met him on, uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma, uh, and he's genuine how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertree University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're gonna be talking to a education advisor or an instructor and you're gonna see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're going to see that we have courses, recordings. We have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times as you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's like a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertree University. City, the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race. In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who, despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. 
I have. I already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. Soon, it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Uh, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move. United Airlines. He buys, and it dips. He sells, and it dips even lower. You gotta know where those dominated brokerage firms are. You gotta know where they're buying it. You need to know where they're selling it. You need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just, you know, let me just trade a brand name stock and, you know, because it's, you know, Intel or Google, you know, and, and that's something that you don't want to do. Good, good, good. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Fausto Puglisi, president and founder of Cybertrain University. And today we're going to talk about how to make a full-time job income as a part-time trader. Uh, one of our most popular webinars that we do, and I'm glad a lot of you guys came at the slowest time of the market, which is lunchtime, but I'm going to show you exactly why we do these things and why we're able to spend more time with our family, why we don't need to go out there and have somebody else trade our money for us. And But before I do that and teach you a couple of the things of the strategy of trading, I just want to go through a just a quick little um, breakdown about Cybertrain Versity and tell you a little bit about us. So first of all, you saw a little video, and uh, the video that you were watching was a couple of testimonials from students that have been here at our, li uh, our live events that we do here at Cybertrain University in New York. And you also saw a video uh, after that of a, a trader's challenge that I did um, in New York City, where I traveled around the world and became a 12-time world champion, beating every school I competed against. Now, the point is, I'm not here to talk about myself and brag and, and everything else. I just want you to understand, I'm a human being just like you, okay? I started just like you, and believe it or not, I failed probably worse than some of you. But I knew one thing. I knew that you can make money doing this, and I wasn't going to quit. And I finally realized that everything that I'd done in the beginning was complete uh, opposite what I was supposed to do. And that's what I want to tell you a little bit about my history, and then I'm going to teach you what we're going to be learning in uh, in how to do things the right way. Now I've been training people for over, um, I started back in when well, I was 22 years old. I was a kid. Obviously you could see from my video, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not a spring chicken anymore, but I'm not that old. I'm 47. I love what I do. I have a passion to do it. And, uh, and the whole point about why I wanted you guys to come here today is that I'm looking for traders that we could train that could be part of our team at Cybertrain University. Now, I'm not here to give away a free computer. I'm not here to give away free trips and free cars and free this, free that. Guys, at the end of the day, I'm not here to buy anybody, okay? This is an interview, all right? You know that you can make a lot of money doing this. Go out and buy your own stuff, and you appreciate it more because you know how hard you work for it, and that's what my parents always taught me. This is not an entitlement program. We're not here to buy anybody. We're here to hopefully educate you. And hopefully, you'll, you know, if we think you're good or qualified, you'll be able to join our team. Now, why we're doing this is this. I started as a beginner trader and I failed miserably. And I'll tell you why. I was a self-taught individual. I thought that, hey, you know, what's somebody going to teach me? I could do it myself. I don't need someone to, you know, to, to, to show me. Well, I blew up three accounts because of it. And you guys probably know this. How many of you here blew up an account or got stuck in a position and was staying up all night or asking people, what do I do? And everything that you're supposed to do, you knew you shouldn't, but you did it anyway. Well, I've been there. I've done that. Well, what happened, unfortunately, live in New York, this is the financial capital of the world, that I finally realized that to be very successful, you got to work for good. You got to work for successful traders. Think about it. How many, listen, you, everybody here has obviously been, is, is been very successful and you made money and you know what it's like to work for a successful company. And maybe some of you wish you could have worked for a better company or a really successful company. Well, I did everything I can to try to learn for the best in the industry. And let me tell you what, what you're going to learn today. You're going to wish you never made your first trade because when I stepped into my first job as a trader, uh, working for somebody as a market maker, I realized I was trading blind. I had the wrong tools. I had the wrong execution system. I had the wrong brokerage. Everything was wrong. I was looking at the wrong stuff. I was learning from the wrong people. 
everything was wrong. And I'm like, and you know what? It made me realize like, my God, you actually can make a lot of money doing this. And, and not only that, I'm like, look at all these people, what they're doing. They're driving nice cars. They live in nice areas. Everything that we want that would make us feel so much better. You know, they, they, they could pay for things. They could, you know, they can come and go whenever they please. I'm like, and, and all of a sudden I realized this, I, I obviously was in the wrong business. Uh, and now I, I got lucky. I, I was able to work for somebody. I was able to shadow people, which is what we're going to do for you. And and over the years, give you a little heads up. I um, back then it wasn't like today. Today you're trading for your own money. You keep all your profit. Back then we had to split our profits and we had to pay ridiculous amount of money for technology. Which today's times you don't have to do that anymore. But um, but I wanted to go on my own. And what happened is that. My mentor has taught me one valuable lesson. And he says, Fausto, listen, you're a great trader, but when you walk out that door, you're going to lose all this. You're going to lose great computers, great technology, great traders, great environment, great everything. The only way you're going to be successful is you better surround yourself with people that could trade like you and, um, and are going to be good traders. And then you can continue your success. Well, that's how Cybertrain University was born. Back in 1995, I started one of the very first educational schools in the industry. If you start looking around in today's world, there are hundreds of schools. I can tell you this. There's a lot of those schools. A lot of those schools that are today are students of Cybertrain University or worked at Cybertrain University. And we're very, very proud of it. And, and we're glad to do that. We want people to be educated. We need more people. But what I'm going to do before we sit there and decide what we're looking to do, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite all of you, all of you, to come to the original trading room that I started back over 25 years ago. So every single one of you are going to get the opportunity to come and see everything that I talked about and see how all these 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 uh, other schools and all these trading rooms started. It started at Cybertrain University. I'm going to show you. Um, is this live, Anthony? Absolutely, it's live. This ain't fake, okay? <laughs> I, you know what? I'm glad you bring that up because you know, that's another thing. I hate going to a live fake um, gr uh, evergreen webinars these people do. No, this is live. We're here to talk about it and do it, um, do it the right way. So let me just change the slide here, guys, and just tell you a little bit about you know what we're going to be doing. So great traders never stop learning and i'm here to kind of go out there and teach you guys what how to do things the right way and hopefully a lot of you are going to realize what trading is all about and this will be a great opportunity for you guys to go out there and be part of the team so this is what we're going to be learning today we're going to talk about navigate navigating and challenges of, of, of today's world using high frequency trades i'm going to teach you what the algorithms are i'm going to talk about time and sales we're going to learn how to read level one level two and level three we're going to show you some stocks that we traded, and believe it or not, I probably 99% of you right now are trading stocks you should not even be in right now. There are a lot less riskier stocks that will pay you a lot more money, and how we're going to utilize this data. And most importantly, how could you do it? And that is what we're going to cover. Now, I want to give you guys a little heads up again. I can't teach you how to trade in an hour, but what I will do is definitely make you drool and make you realize, my God. I, this is something I need to do. And you know what? At the end of today's presentation, and then when I inv and you start seeing what trading is all about, and you guys come and, and see what it's like to be at a very successful trading room and where you can learn from, um, you're going to realize it's for you or not. Because you know, because there's two people that are going to be here today. There's some of you are going to move forward with us, and there are some of you who are going to say, wow, you know what? I, I finally realized that this is not for me. And guess what? That's okay. I'd rather you spend an hour and knowing if it's for you or not than blow up your account and get stuck in positions because, believe me, I hear it all day long, all right? So that's what we're going to focus on. Now, um, question I have for all of you before we get started, I want to do a poll. And my poll is, um, well, I wonder what kind of trader everybody is right now. So if you guys can just, there's a little uh, uh, poll questions coming up right now. Just click on the, and tell me, are you stock trader, options traders, futures, Forex? Just tell me a little bit about you. So I get to know what kind of trader everybody is. I always like to get to know. All right, we got a, quite a few futures traders. Okay, good. Here we got some options coming in. Okay, a lot more stocks. Okay. All right, perfect. Now, why you guys are out there and, and answering this question, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. 
Um, I'm actually a day trader. Okay. And one of the original souls bandits, if you ever read any of the old books, uh, one of the original souls bandits that started. Now, the reason why I like to day trade is because I like to sleep at night. Now I do do some swing trading periodically. I do some options trading, but let me tell you this. If you want to be a good options trader, you damn well know how better not be a very good swing trader. And to even get to that point, to be a good swing trader, you have to be a good day trader because it's what happens over the course of the day, which trickles down to a swing trade. And then it also might trickle down to an option trade. You don't do the opposite. Day trading is the easiest, simplest trades and you know that you could do. Now, granted, it might not fit in your schedule, it might not be for everyone, but everybody here should know a little bit about everything. You should know about futures. You should know a little bit about Forex. You should know a little bit about options. I know some of you here have taken training courses of other people, and I'm glad that you did. So you get to know a little bit about everything, but just please don't be discouraged because if you did learn something, you might say, you know what? I wish I never did that. I like this better, which is okay, which is okay. Because so don't think that whatever you spent money and time in doesn't mean that you can't switch and do something else, which will be a little bit better for you. Remember, great traders never stop learning. Now, um, with that said, let me just get back to our questions here. Okay. Now, looking at this stock, ladies and gentlemen, is this stock going up or going down? That's always the question people ask. How do you know they're going up? How do you know they're going down? How do you know who's buying it, who's selling it? Okay. Well, let's look what happens two days later on a stock like this. Stock was going up. And two days later, what happened to the stock? AKRX drops and goes from 13 down to five. Okay. Why did the stock drop? What, what are no overnights? This is what day trading is about. So, you know, you can find a lot of good stocks that make some big moves. But when it comes to situations, there's, there's times where you'd be like, my God, I wish I never got into this trouble, never got, you know, never held this position. And that's what we need to focus on. Um, Bruno, once again, if you're having a terrible um, experience, you know, just, just log out, log back in, and that will kind of refresh your screen, okay? All right. Now, to do that, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to trading, 50% of the people fail in trading by having the wrong brokerage account. That is like half the failure rate. All right. That is something that you have to focus on. Now, how do we know why that is? Is because I want you to understand something that brokerage firms are trading against you. You see, listen, they got great commercials. They got very cheap tickets, everything they got is great that that obviously hits the greed button. But at the end of the day, how do you um, how do you trade? How do you basically monitor what brokers are the best for you? All right. So when it comes to trading, guys, you have to go out there and you got to have the right brokerage account. All right. And when having the right brokerage account, there's online brokers and direct access brokers. You got to have a direct access broker. And let me tell you the main difference. I'm not here. To, I'm not a brokerage firm. I'm not here to sell you brokerage services or any of that stuff. Let me just tell you the difference. Online brokers are like dealing with public transportation. Direct access brokers are like driving a car. That's basically what it comes down to. All right. So listen, there's nothing wrong with public transportation. It's great. But you can't run a family on it. You can't run a business on public transportation. Okay. Um, you need to go out there and make an investment. You got to pay for insurance. You got to do this. So you got to understand something. Trading is a business. All right. You got to treat this like a business. Anyone here ever owned a business before? Anybody here have a business, sold a business? Okay. And just out of curiosity. Okay. So good. A lot of you here. That, I guess that's why a lot of people are here. You have to understand something that if you don't have the right tools, you're going to fail. Just because having stuff, getting stuff cheap doesn't mean it's a good deal, okay? You can't run a successful business by just by thinking like, you know, thinking small. You got to have the right tools. Listen, this job pays a lot of money, okay? And to get for something to pay a lot of money, like anything else, there's expenses. So let me tell you, like I said, half the traders, let me repeat that again, half of the traders fail because they're being cheap and they're opening up the wrong brokerage account. Okay. So let's, 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 
let's move on from there. And as you start seeing things I'm talking about, you're going to realize that a lot of stuff um, that you have, you, you're not even utilizing. And that's what we need to focus on. Um, let me change the slide here. Okay. Now, like I just mentioned to you earlier, um, when I first stepped into as a trader, I didn't know that you could actually have a seat on the exchange. I didn't know you could place bids and offers and compete against Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, all these CNs out there, which is great. Now, granted, you know, you look at that photo right there and you're like, wow, you could actually walk on that floor. Well, technically, no, because you got to buy a seat on the exchange. But obviously, if everything's electronic, there's nobody on the floor anymore. That's why CNBC has their uh, recording studio down there. It's, it's a ghost town. Eventually, the New York Stock Exchange is going to be, you can have your bar mitzvahs, weddings down there. They're going to make it to a museum. Uh, there's no need for it anymore. Everything's electronic. So that is the beauty about what we could do now. Now we could do everything on our own. We don't have to deal with middlemans, any of that stuff. Okay. Now, is this, how is this going to make you money? Are you learning anything from this? Probably not. You probably, something you probably already know. All right. But, um, but as we start, I start teaching you how to trade, you're going to see like, holy cow, I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. No wonder why. I mean, why I'm not making as much money as I should or why I'm losing money. So let's begin and let's talk about how we could take all that stuff and realize what is the philosophy here at Cybertrain University. Now, I want you to understand something, guys. What I'm about to teach you and show you right now, I did not invent this, okay? This is not the Fausto, uh, Fausto Nachi indicator, Okay. Um, I am showing you right now the core values of the fundamentals of how trading works. So don't look at it where, okay, where's the pitch? Where's this? Listen, I'm not selling you guys anything. I'm not giving you anything. I'm here to educate you. And, and I'm trying to look for two different people who really wants to learn and who wants to make money doing this or the other people that just, you know what? I figured it out. Let me just give my money to a stockbroker and let me just do what I do best and, you know, and live a happy life. So let's look at this example right here, AMRM. It's up 585% in nine days. Did anyone trade the stock AMRN? Anybody hear about it, saw it, anything? AMRN, anybody here? In nine days, not only the stock has been a good day trade, it's been a phenomenal swing trade, AMRN. Nobody here, would you guys trade? Anybody been trading? Anybody trade anything recently? Anybody trade a stock recently? Mike, we obviously didn't see it. Uh, yes, Tom. Uh, Tom, this is being recorded, so you can go back and you will be able to review it. Absolutely. Never heard of it, Al said. Okay, there I go. Good, good. Now, when you really think about it, what does AMRN do? Why was it up 585 points? Okay, what made this stock go up? At the end of the day, who cares? Right? Why are you here? You know why you're here? To make money. That's the only reason why you're here. Jim, you trade futures. That's okay. You know, and you should know, you know, a little bit about stocks too, because guess what? At the end of the day, when you watch TV and everything else, 95% was being broadcasted. They talk about stocks. Okay. And you know what? If you if you're a good stock trader, you'd be a great futures trader also. Now, AMRN, why is it up? Why is it up in, 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 you know, that much? Okay, where do we find it? Well, like I told you, here at Cybertrain University, um, we run one of, we run, you know, not because I own the company, but from what I could see, we run the most successful in the original trading room. And, and everybody will be able to see the stock, how we trade it. We broadcast it live. We trade with our students live. So everything there is, this is no fluff and no, um, you know, you know, bragging or anything like, you know, oh, woulda, coulda, shoulda. You're going to see all this stuff. Now, how do we find these stocks right here, guys? Is through our watch list. And you can see right here, down here at the bottom, you know, you got my photo right there. Let me, uh, let me maybe turn that off. Okay. So you can see right here, AMRN was actually up only 8%. That's right, 8%. And it was the 16th biggest mover of the day. Okay. Right there. Hold on. Let me just look right here. Now traded 9 million shares. 
Now, here's the news. You could see how the stock started this morning. News came out. Traders bought it. And we do a lot of our trades in pre-market. I don't know if you guys ever trade pre-market, but most of our money is made in the pre-market hours. And you could see right here at 5 o'clock in the morning, this is all Eastern time, up until 8, 8 30. You could see how the stock had a huge pre-market move in the morning. So why did AMR go up so much? Okay. I guess that's what people always will ask. Well, how did you know it was going to go up so high? When do you know when to sell it? You know, why do I keep, why did I not know to hold it a little bit longer? Well, that is what we're going to focus on right now. That is the million dollar question. Now, let me ask you all a, a question really quick before I'm going to teach you one of Wall Street's biggest secrets. How do we know these stocks are going up or going down? Can anybody answer that question? How do we know they're going up or down? It's a very simple question. How do, how do they go up and down? How about that? How do stocks go up and go down? Volume. Okay, John. What else? Anybody else? Technical now? No, Al. No, technical analysis don't make these stocks go up and go down. That's 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 the past. That's not indicative of the future. Momentum, okay? Michael, volume, Russell. All right, Dennis hit the nail on the head. It's 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 just supply and demand. Buyers and sellers. Okay? You need listen, uh, the, regarding I know some of you sitting there watching the bars that that doesn't that doesn't move the market the bar doesn't move the bar i don't know who taught you how to trade first of all that does not move the market what moves the market is buyers and sellers okay now think about this for a second what is it worth to you if i could tell you right now that i could show you if i could show you sorry about that guys if i could show you and tell you that you can monitor 70% of the buyers and sellers out there. If you could see where 70% of where the buyers are and 70% of where the sellers are, what is that worth to you? How much better and smarter decisions would that, would that do for you? Well, thousands, right? Millions. Okay. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you how it works. Um, have any of you guys ever heard of level three before? Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a, a poll question. Let's do a poll question. Um, does anyone here have access to level three? How about that? Let me just do that question. Anybody here have access to level three? Just give me a yes, no, not sure. Okay. We got not sure, no's, no yeses yet. Oh, we, there we go. We got some yeses. No, 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 no. By the way, just to let you guys know, when I started, I didn't have level three. I didn't know nothing about it until I walked in the door of a real true professional uh, trading firm. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, how does anyone even, I didn't, first of all, I didn't even know this data even existed. Why nobody talks about it. Well, now you're going to see the real truth. So as you guys are looking at this, look at the look at the yeses and nos and not sure. If you said I'm not sure, I'll take that as a no because it's like I always kind of joke around. It's like you asking you know asking a woman and say, um, "Are you pregnant?" And I'm like a little bit, you know. Well, there's no such thing a little bit. It's like you are, you aren't. You know. So I'll take if you're not sure, I'll take that as a no. All right. So with that said, guys, what I'm about to show you right now is going to be very disturbing because. You're going to realize that you've been trading blind your whole life for a long, long time. And just having this data, by the way, this is not the Fausto data. This is right. This is the, this is the data directly from the exchange. So envision that you're on the floor of the exchange right now. And you could see where, where the big buyers are running, where the big sellers are running. So think about that, how valuable that data is. So let, let, let's talk about it. It's called, it's called level three. All right. Now, what is level three? Level three is going to let me just go back here i'm sorry about that all right so on the left hand side you'll see that these are the buyers right and on on the right hand side these are the sellers these are all sell orders so you're seeing the real true orders that are out there that are being broadcasted on the street now the way it works is whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top 
whoever wants to sell their shares for the least amount of money is on top on the on the on the on the sell order. So buy orders are on top. There's the sell orders. Now, basically, what you're looking at is um, this is a a negotiated system. There's basically negotiating. All right. Uh, well, I'm sorry, not being sexist. I'm, don't, don't look at it that way. I'm just looking at it where. You know, people have to realize there's a, there's a yes or there's a no. You know, things are black and white when it comes to trading. You know, there's not like I think so, I maybe. You know, when it comes to trading, so I'm sorry if I I, I I insulted anybody. Um, but when it comes to trading, guys, it, it's just black and white. You see the orders, you see who's out there, and that's it. Now, you, um, well, you the late prints that you'll see, Jim, would be in the you know, in, in the time and sales, which we didn't get to yet. Now let's look at this example right here. Okay. What happens when you have a 25,000 share buyer sitting at 3,356? Can everybody answer that question? What happens when you have a big buyer out there? You got, listen, you got buyers, 10 shares, 160 shares. Look at that. 300 shares, four shares, 75,000. What happens when you have a 25, almost a 26,000 share buyer out there sitting at 3,356? It's, it's, listen, it's a very simple question, guys. I'm not trying to pick anyone. Don't feel embarrassed. Nobody's going to rat you out. Nobody's going to insult you. If you don't know the answer, just say, I don't know. Well, if you said it was going to go up or it's a support level, yeah. I mean, look right here on, on the little, on the bar right here. You see this bar right here? Look at every time the stock hit 33.56. It went up, went up to about 33.80. It came back down. And this is not just, you know, in a minute. This is over several days, right? And by seeing that, it goes from 35.56. Uh, eventually, it goes all the way to 34.80. So, why did it go up? How did it go up? We're going we're gonna to talk about that. But at the end of the day, you just have to realize there is a buyer sitting there and he wants to buy this stock. You got to know. And, and that's right, Jim. Jim K. It's called a demand levels. That's what it's all about. And how did it go up? There was a demand and the demand drove the stock up. Let's look at the opposite side. What happens if you have this big seller out there? Well, look what happened over here. Okay, stock goes from eleven dollars all the way up to about eleven fifty. Why did the stock stop at eleven fifty? And you can see when it hit eleven fifty, it came right back down to eleven. Uh, video stopped. Hold on, shouldn't have stopped. Can everybody see it? Okay, now audio should be fine. Offline, it shouldn't be. Everybody here okay? All right, good. All right, no problem. Just making sure. All right, so let me just uh, close the, broad, the video so we don't use up too much bandwidth. All right, so why did the stock come down? Well, if you look over here on the left-hand side, you'll notice right at 1150, there is a 35,000 share seller the ask is the seller the bid of the buyers now think about this for a second when a stock goes up right what are we looking for we're looking for resistance how do we find resistance what makes a resistance sellers how do we see the sellers on level three and by seeing that level three seller out there a substantial seller out there once again for thirty-five thousand shares that would probably explain why the stock backed off. Now, let me ask you, everybody, now that I showed you a very simple explanation of supply and demand and support and resistance, how many of you here are monitoring orders like this for 35,000 shares? Anybody here doing that right now? Anybody monitoring big block orders like that? I guess not that many. Not enough. There's, you know, there's over, you know, 100 people coming and going in this meeting and not that many of you are doing it. And you know what? Listen, that's okay. 
That's okay. That's fine. That's why we're here. We're here to realize that there is something, and listen, you guys know there's something out there that we're not doing that we should know how it works. And that's why we're here. That's okay. You know, listen, don't know. Um, some rent says, uh, don't know where to see them. That's, and that's why we're here. But listen, think about it. Who really trained you? Okay. Who really trained you? How did you really learn how to trade? Did you learn from a true market maker worked on the floor or did you read it as somebody's book or some indicator? Okay. That's what you have to look at it. Are you a self-taught individual? Well, let's think about this for a second, guys. Would you go out there and give your money to someone that was self-taught, that never worked for a brokerage firm or surround himself? He just one day woke up in the morning and says, you know what? I'm going to call people up and, and tell them I want to trade their money. How comfortable do you feel about that? And you know what? No wonder why people lose money. There's no law against it. You have to be licensed and registered to do trade your own money. You have every right in the world to trade your own money. Doesn't give you the right to win, okay, and be right. And that's why we're here to, to compete against the 25 million people who are out there. Because, listen, there is a winner and there's a loser in, in this room that's going to trade. And guess what? We don't want to be on the losing side. Um, the webinar should be working okay. You guys should be seeing it. Just, uh, guys, just refresh your browser if you have any issues. All right, so, guys, looking at this stock, what do you think the stock's doing? Is this stock going up or going down? From what you know from your experience, just tell me, looking at this, what do you think the stock's doing, up or going down? It's not a, it's not a trick question. It's not a stupid question. It's a true question. Uh, the polls should not be up there. You should be... Uh, Click on the chat on the left-hand side. It's the second one from the top. Stock's going to go down, right? Okay. It's not a, not a trick question. And you know what? If you said it was going down, you're right. Can't tell. <laughs> I don't know why you can't tell. Looking at it, it, it looks like it's going down to me. It just went from 1845 to 1805. Okay. Now... Anyone ever in a position and you start questioning yourself and saying like, okay, it's going down. I'm losing money. Well, when's it going to stop? You know, when is it going to ever stop? Well, how do you know when a stock is going to stop? What do you need the stock from stop stopping from going lower? What do we need to prevent the stock from going, uh, from dropping any more than what it already did? Can anybody answer that? What do we need? We need buyers, right? Exactly. We need buyers. Do you see buyers on a chart? I don't see any buyers on a chart. Okay. Do you see any buyers on an indicator? I don't see any buyers on an indicator. Do you see any buyers on a, in a book? I don't know. Do you see any buyers on TV? No. But Jim, you got to remember, you don't need support. You need buyers. How many times have you seen stocks hit support and they broke support levels? All the time. Right? You see how a lot of people are reading charts backwards? You can't, what happened in the past is not indicative of the future. It could help, but you need buyers. Where support levels in ARWR? Let's just think about this for a second. Where do you think support levels are? We're looking at buyers right now. We're looking at orders, buy orders. Where do you think the stock is going to hit support? Looking at this stock right here. Well, if you said 18, you're absolutely right. You know why? There's 129,000 share buyers sitting at 18. Is that, so it's not a, you know, I know it's a very dumb question, so we'll get a dumb answer. <laughs> All right. That's a pretty big, big buyer right there. All right. ARW, the stock went down, which is what we saw. Let me just show you. This, this is ARW. How the stock went down. You see it right here? I'm going back to the previous slide. Look how the stock went down, hit 18. When I move ahead, 
That was right here. It dropped to 18. What ended up happening? Stock shot straight up and went to 21. Why did it go to 21? Well, I don't know. Maybe that 129,000 share buyer had definitely had something to do with it. Okay. And, and let me just, re, just reiterate a little bit. Right now, you're seeing an order. What happens if nobody sells it to that guy? Well, there's only one other place for him to buy it. He might have to execute the sellers on the, on the right-hand side. And what will that do? Drive the stock up. By the way, do you have an indicator that tells you that? No. Do you have a platform that tells you that? No. You know who could tell you that? Trading with smart traders. Trading at Cyber Trading University. That's how you make money. Uh, John has a question. How can you tell if the buy order is showing right now won't be pulled? John, listen, that order right there could be made of several different people, okay? And how do you know? Well, a few things. Time and sales, okay? And, um, and, any, and, and by the way, anyone could pull an order. You know, but, but you just got to remember one very important thing, John, Okay. Because I get people that say, oh, you know, I, people talk about this. These are fake orders, this and that. First of all, you tell me a brokerage firm lets you put a fake order out there. There's nothing fake about these orders. These are all real orders. No, you can't put an order out there without confirming that, you, that you're good for it. You know, the, the exchanges don't allow The brokerage firms don't allow So they're all real orders. Can a guy pull an order? Can a guy play a game? Eh, anyone could. You want? Would you take a gamble and, and, and put a... A, a $2 million order out there and says, well, I just want to scare the market. Let me see what happens. Hey, you know what? That guy can get executed. He can play all the games he wants. But if you think you want to, you know, for, first of all, hedge guy, listen, isn't spoofing illegal? Isn't spoofing, you know, like th that's another thing. You think a brokerage firm is going to go out there and do, and do spoofing and take the gamble and get, and get fined just because he's trying to make himself a thousand bucks? So I don't know who taught you that, but that is 100% illegal. And guess what? They bust everybody that does it. All right? It's not worth it. I mean, listen, did people do it? I don't know. But there were people doing it, and they, and they, they got fined very heavily. But in the meantime, that's not your problem. Your problem is spoofing or not, there's 129,000 share buyer out there, and the stock went up. Now, let's look at this example right here. Where do you think, in theory, guys, this is JD, a stock JD. Where do you think, stock is, where do you think the stock is going to be hitting resistance? For what the data we're seeing there. Once again, how the stock hits resistance? Sellers. Um, uh, you know, Michael, uh, Michael saying good information, so much chatter about HFT spoofing. Hey, you know what? It's listen, they, they got smarter. They listen, that stuff doesn't, it's not worth it anymore. All right. Now, listen, look at, look at all the orders you guys saying, look, 28, 28, 28. Listen, if you said 28, guess what? You're absolutely right. Okay. Now think about this for a second. You have just predicted a resistance levels at 28 without using a chart, without using an indicator, without using all these fancy, dancy, you know, uh, tools at a brokerage firm. You just said right there, point blank, without me even teaching you. By the way, guys, um, please don't post any links out there um, without our approval. We ju we'll just delete them. All right. But uh, right there alone, you said 28. Well, guess what? Looking at this stock, in theory, without knowing I just showed you a resistance level, the seller at 28, if you were just working off this chart, what would you think the stock's going to do? Go up or go down? Looking at this chart. Yeah, it's going up. And you might think like, holy cow, this thing is really going up. I mean, that thing is really taking off, Right? And in, in theory, with any indicator or anything else, you'd be like, you know, damn well, the stock's going higher. And I'm holding on to it. Yeah, well, what happens when you get to 28 where that 42,000 share seller's sitting? What do you think's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. In one minute bar, that stock dropped from 28 all the way down to 27.60, dropped 40 cents. Look what it ended up doing. It went all the way down to 26.60.
Uh, where, where, where the hell that came from, right? It just took off. Who's the one that dropped it? Why did Mr. Why did Mr. Mac D didn't tell me that? Okay. But it did hit a resistance. Yeah, well, what is it? Re what makes resistance? Sellers. You see, ladies and gentlemen, remember I told you when you first came in here? Think about this. How did you know that the stock was going to go up? How did you know the stock was going to go down? You got to have a game plan. You got to have a game plan. Jay, listen, that's a great question. And, and yes, you got to look at both things. And Jay, guess what? This is what you're going to see in our trading room. You see, listen, what I'm showing you right now is just a basic trading 101. This is like kindergarten stuff, okay? And believe me, you guys are making trading a lot more complicated than what it is. I'm just showing you that imagine what you're seeing now if you saw this live in the market. Because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for serious traders that I could teach this to because there's no indicator out there. And there's no, there's no platform out there that could spot this. The way it works is that if you could understand what I'm showing you, then we want you to be part of Cyber Train University so we all could work together and we could teach you this stuff so we can make money together. That is what people want. People want to go out there and want to be part of something. Learning how to do this is irrelevant. What's the sense of learning if you can't even practice it? How many times you guys go and, 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 and confront an educator and say, hey, do you practice what you preach? Be like, well, um, you know, well, and, or ask people, where do you make more money, teaching or trading? You know, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not looking for the teaching. I'm looking to teach people so I can make money with them. Because if I could teach you how to make 100000 a quarter million dollars, I'm going to probably make fifty, one hundred dollars just on your call outs. If you could just help me look for things in the market for this. And that's right, Al. MACDs uh, are lagging indicators. You want to be a lagger? You want to be a leader? Um, Muhammad, I don't trade futures. Okay. But if you really want to learn about futures, why don't you send me an email? And there's only about three people in this industry that I would recommend that could teach you futures. I, I personally just trade stock. I'm not a jack of all trades. I'm not a general contractor and said I could do your plumbing, your air conditioning, your your, your framing, your siding. I'm, I'm just I'm just a, a stock trader that likes to day trade. I I like to make my days pay and have you guys do it. That's it. Now, what do we call these things? Um, we call them iceberg orders. Okay, so you know everybody looks what's on top of the water. No one realizes what's at the bottom of the water. So I need people that could help that that are smart enough out there that could browse the market and help that I could teach you how to find iceberg orders so we could all, all go out for the same goal, make money together. Uh, Rob Hopkins is a great futures trader, actually. Yes, absolutely, yeah. He's a very, very good futures trader. Like I said, that that's one of probably three out there that I would recommend. You know, there's probably, probably uh, two, 300 people that think they could teach futures, but... You know, I know a lot of people in this industry and listen, you know, like Rob, um, and glad you brought up his name. He's one of the very few people that would trade with you, you know? So anyway, um, how do we know these are real orders, which one of you were just asking me? All right. So any of you guys use time and sales, which by the way, you could apply this to futures, Forex, everything. So time and sales, guys, um, these are the confirmations of trades going off. Just by you seeing the order, knowing the guy's getting executed. Hey, the guy might go out there and do something different. Just give me one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, just got uh, pulled away for a second. So anyway, when it comes to time and sales, that's where we see 
where these transactions take place. This is where we see where the buyers and sellers are. And once again, where do you think a chart gets his data from? Time and sales. And you know what? If you just color coordinate them just between green and red, listen, you get a lot of greens. We think the stock's going to do. It's going to go up. What happens when you have a lot of reds? Stock's going to go down. Once again, how do stocks go up and go down? Or any market, supply and demand. Where do you think a chart gets his data from? Time and sales. Is there any way to spot iceberg orders, Michael? Well, Michael, I just showed you. Can you spot them? Of course you could spot those iceberg orders. Um, you have to. You need the level three data to help you do that. And you need to see how it happens live in the market. How many of you guys like to see this live? How many of you guys will like to see and say, hey, wow, because you know what? Everyone can make a pretty PowerPoint, right? But how many of you guys would like to see this live in the market and says, wow, this kind of makes sense. Could we see this working? All right. Well, guess what? At the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite all of you to come and see it for one whole week. Think about it. A whole week where you're going to see it. Once again, we practice what we preach. Okay. And that's, and that's how you make money. Now, AMRN, look how the stock was such a short. Here's a couple of traders. You could see um, Ken and Fernando. Look at all these guys that have made money on this trade. How do we know AMRN was going to go down? Time and sales. You could look at the chart all you want, but you need to follow the buyers and sellers. Now, um, by the way, James is a, a student of ours, and uh, he just put a comment there and because James, I want to just kind of thank James. James is a very good, loyal Students have been doing very well here at CTU. And the thing is, my students are here to give you feedback because, and by the way, you'll, you'll, you'll meet James um, in our trading room. They want to go out there and they, they want to, um, they know that if you guys are part of the team, you're going to make his life easier. A lot of people think they could do this on their own and study on their own and, and read it. Listen, you got to be part of a team, but you got to know how to speak the language. So is level two show full size? No, it doesn't, John. John, level two has been obsolete since 2000. Okay, that's, a, that's, over, that's over almost 18 years ago. All right. Uh, why they still have it, I have no idea. They were planning on getting rid of it a long time ago. But uh, level two is, waste, is, is worthless. Level, two is, the, level three shows you basically 20 times more data. And I'll tell you really briefly what it is. Level two is only showing you the best bid and the best offer of the market maker. It's not showing you all his bids and all his offers. What's that going to do for me? He could be a buyer of 100 shares at $18, but he could be, he could be a, a 10,000 share buyer at $17.95. You're not going to see that in level two. Okay? So it's worthless. Um, so when it comes to trading, guys, you, you really don't need that much technology to make you very successful. Um, actually, 70, 80% of what these brokerage firms offer you is just window dressing. You know, and they're trying to appease all these type of traders. To be very successful, successful, you don't need a lot, okay? You just got to follow the money, follow the orders, and have the right tools. And then also have a good team backing you so you can make stocks like AMRN up 323%, you know, and, 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 jo and join the fun with guys like Todd making, hey, I made 48 cents, Donna, 61 cents, you know, Nancy made 30 cents. You know, Ken, 26, 21. And by the way, these you, you put 1,000 shares at the end of this, 600, 300, 200. You know, great traders are not looking to make, uh, you know, $3, $4 a day. You know, could you afford $3, 2 $3 a day in losses? No. That's what it's all about. All right. So the goal that we're trying to do, everybody, is we're here. We're trying to follow the smart money. That's all we're looking to do. Follow the smart money, like you see this, a 400,000 share order, and seeing if they're getting done, if they're driving up the stock. That's all we're looking to do. Is level three very expensive, Kim? Uh, Jim, you know, when I first started, um, it was about $1,000 a month. Right now, it's like 15 bucks. They really dropped the price down a lot, <laughs> Okay. Could you afford $15, Jim? Is $15 down like a lot? No, it's cheap, right? You know how many people still today will not, will rather lose $150, two, three hundred dollars than pay $15? Listen, anyone here ha uh, 
built a very successful business for free, please let me know because I de I'm definitely interested to invest in that. But I don't know too many people that uh, invested money, you know, in a business uh, for free. There's always something out there. Um, John is level three. Yes, it is. John uh, level three is Nasdaq total view, but the problem is that's one of several um, ECNs out there. That's only one. There's several of them out there. Jim says, "Heck no." <laughs> Well, I guess, Jim, you're going to be joining our room. All right. I guess you're going to be checking it out. So listen, previous data is not indicative of the future. And I think that's another big mistake. People go out there and they think they got to learn charts. They got to learn indicators. At the end of the day, listen, you just got to follow the money. Follow the money and just make a day's pay. That's what it's all about. What do these stocks do? CGC, how to Andre and make, you know, a buck 30, 3,000 shares you know, and knew when to get out before it dropped. You know, I mean, this is what you got to understand. This is what you have to play. Michael says, damn, that is that is cheap. Uh, you know what, Mike? It's it, Unfortunately, Michael, there's a lot of people out there that want free stuff, okay? Um, I don't like to go to free concerts, okay? I went to one, and I never, ever will ever go back to a free concert ever again, okay? I would rather pay than go to a free concert. The last free concert I went to, there must have been about a half a million people there. I end up buying a ticket to see the same person. I pay $100 for the seat. I went to work. I made $100. I was in a room with probably about 10,000 people. I'd rather be in a room with 10,000 than a half a million. How much fun is it to go to a free concert with a half a million people screaming and yelling? You know, listen, it's a business decision. Some people can't afford $100, so I get it. But if you can't afford to pay $15 or whatever it is, and honestly, guys, you can't afford to trade. If you think, you think, you know, $10, $15, whatever it is, is expensive, do yourself a favor. Close your brokerage account. And just give it to somebody else to trade it for you. You should be starting interviewing stockbrokers. And I'm just being very dead honest with you. I hate to see people lose money. That's the big issue. Now, um, but you know what? Everybody thinks that yeah, <laughs> Woodstock was nuts. It sure was, Mike. And you know, it wasn't my my time. My time, but it is was definitely you know chaotic. So listen, guys, you want to learn how to do this right. You want to learn how to stop pretending and having other people telling you where it's going up and going down. You want to start learning how to figure it out on your own, okay? You want to do something where it's called the KISS method, learn how to keep things simple, you know, not making a complaint, just following the money. Do you think you have it in you to go out there and learn how to trade and follow people and follow orders? Well, then we want to talk to you. OK, because the way we're going to make money and how we're going to have good play platforms and and have fun time and making money and buying your own, you know, computer and your own car and your own free Rolex watch and says someone, you know, trying to sucker you in to come to some free webinar and give you free stuff so they could just get your name and sell it to someone else. We're not looking for that. I'm not looking for that. Uh, Al, well, it was, that really was the actual saying, but we, I don't like to use the stupid part. <laughs> so let's not get confused. Let's not get greedy. Okay. Let's learn how to be disciplined. Let's teach you how to follow the rules, how to journal, how to play with others, you know, and just do things right. Because let me tell you something, guys, the potential income, do the math, thousand shares, 50 cents is 500, 50 cents. That's all, 50 lousy stinking cents. $500, 20 trading days a month. You're talking about a nice little six-figure salary. Who here doesn't want that job? How many of you here on Social Security? How's that working out for you? Making money, okay? Is that is that paying your bills? How many of us are older and have to start paying medical bills? Like, like well, how many of you us here are sick and tired, you know, driving back and forth to work, paying for this, paying for that, listing other people? Listen. Go out there and start managing your own money, but do it right. You got to find good educators and you got to be not only with good educators, you got to be with a good team. You have to learn from mentors, okay? 
every you who Kier could tell me and says, oh yeah, I have a mentor. Well, guess what? You should have more than one. But you need to learn from other people. You got to learn from successful people. Why do people go to see guest speakers like me? Like, wow, the guy's great. I would love to hear him. Look, well, listen, here's your opportunity. Door's knocking. You want to do it? Do it right or don't do it at all. And you'll see why you could spend more time with your family, more time with your friends, enjoy life, not getting stressed out. You know? So what I'm looking to do right now is this, everybody. I'm looking for serious traders that I want to invite you in my, in my trading room, the original trading room, okay? And I want you to listen to the everyday people that are doing exactly what you're doing and see what trading is all about. How do most traders get level three access? Okay, Bill. So the thing is this. I'm not telling you where to get it. Not that I'm trying to hold back and, and uh, hold information against you. Is that, listen, let me show it to you. You'll see it in our trading room. And then you make a decision if this is for you or not. Don't, we're not here to, we don't want you to buy anything. Okay. Let us show you for a week what it works, how to trade pre market, how to trade after market, why these people are trading at those times. And then you make a decision. All right. Let's go test drive it before you go and, and make this whole big investment and get part of this whole big thing that's going on. And guess what? At the end of the day, you're going to see why Cyber Trading University has been featured in some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. Remember one valuable thing. These brokerage firms do their due diligence. We've been in business for over 25 years. When's the last time you've been, you saw somebody in, in, in this industry that's been around as long as us? Nobody. I know because I was one of the first ones that started it, and I'm still here. Now you're finding out everyone's starting to get, you know, started a training school. But does it mean that there's not that they're bad people? It's just like, are they the right fit for you? Are they giving you what you really want? Or are they just interested in just, you know, taking your money and your education? Listen, this is what I'm looking for. So let's get right to the end because we're running out of time here. I am looking for people that I can invite in my trading room. I want to show you what it's like to be in real market meetings. I want to show you what it's like to see real watch lists be able to talk to someone physically, okay? But I'm asking for $7, okay? This is all online now. Now, why am I asking for seven bucks? Like, okay, everybody's worried. Okay, here's the catch. Everybody's like, okay, this doesn't make sense. All right, why is it $7? I'll tell you what the $7 is for. The $7 is to let me know if you're a real person, all right? If you don't have $7, then, then obviously you don't, have, you don't have money to trade. And I, and listen, I'm not looking for free people. I'm not looking for people that are, you know, that want to come to free events. I'm looking for people that know that if you could spend seven dollars, you could spend fifteen for this, you could spend five for that. But if you're looking for free stuff, then we're not looking for you. This and guess what? With the seven dollars, if you give us a week, if you're not happy, I'll give you seven dollars back. Trust me, guys. It costs me more money to pay for someone to pick up the phone to talk to you for seven dollars. All right. All right, so well, Sumit, great job. Click on the seven, click on the link that's just been posted. And we'll get you registered now. As a bonus, big bonus right here. Okay, after seven days, for the ones that register right now, I will personally give you a coaching class. Okay, and I, after after all this stuff goes through, we're gonna have a conversation and we're gonna see if trading's for you or not. Remember, what is my invested interest in you. My investment interest is that I am looking for people that I could train, that I can make money with, that can make my life easier and make my trader's life easier and your life easier. Okay. But it's not for everybody. But if you want to find out the real truth about what trading is all about and what this is all, you know, because hey, listen, guys, you hear good things and bad things about it. I know you've been there. I've been around the block and everything. But um, you know what? Let's hear the real truth about it. Okay. Let's hear, let, let, let's see what it's all about. Let's see what, what, you know, is Fausto really a great trader or is he a terrible trader? Okay. Let's see, let's see what the positive and negatives are. But take the $7, do it. You're not happy. We'll give you $7 back. Just remember, the $7 is just letting us know if you're a real person or not. Um, well, Jay, what's going to happen is this when you register, 
Um, you're going to start, usually you're going to start, you're going to do an orientation with one of our education advisors. He's going to tell you what to expect. You're going to get a couple of good videos to watch. And then what's going to happen is you're going to start on Monday. And um, after you do your orientation and you're going to see what it's like to be in a trading room. And then you're going to make an appointment with the education advisor, have a meeting with me. And we're going to go from there. All right. And then we'll, then we'll see if you want to, if you want to make the uh, six figure salary. Now, a couple of quick little shout outs guys, because I just got a couple of registrations. First of all, I'd like to thank, uh, looks like Paul C from uh, the UK just registered. Welcome aboard. Okay. Remember I'm only picking 20 people that you can personally uh, talk to. John, uh, John C from Los Angeles. Welcome aboard. Just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Susie from Buffalo, New York. Just got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right. Jay, I didn't see you register yet. <laughs> uh, Cliff M from Michigan. Just got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right. Anyone have any last minute questions uh, before we go, guys? Can I start on Monday? Yes, Jay. You, you know what? You're going to start on Monday because we want to give you a good full week because the reason is there are good days to trade and bad days to trade. So you want to know what the good days and bad days and the good times and the bad times of the week. And we're going to cover that in a whole week when you're in the class. All right, guys, if you have any issues of registering right now, listen, the number's on the screen. Call us at 877-70-CYBER and you can get registered over the phone if it's not working. I apologize. Maybe everybody's hitting the server faster than what we expect. All right. No problem, Jay. Any money, uh, any Monday you want. If you can't do it next week, you can move it. Just tell the education advisor. We'll go from there. But uh, we'll activate it. But guys, very important. What do you have to lose? Okay. I just showed you something everyone here did not even know nothing about. And um, the thing is, a lot of you went out there. You saw like, wow, I didn't know there was level three. How many of you guys knew about level three? Almost 80% of you didn't. How many of you guys didn't know that you could just follow the money? Imagine seeing this stuff live for seven dollars. Seven bucks. That's all it is. Seven dollars. All right. Just to be in it live. And then you could see why people make six, seven figures doing this. You're more than welcome, Anthony. Well, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Salash, like I said, call the number on the screen if you have any issues to register. You could do it over the phone. A couple other shout outs really quick. Um, Al C from New York. Iceland. Oh, you're right on the round of the block from us, Al. We'll see you then. By the way, Al, I'm going to be doing a presentation here in New York uh, next Monday, Tuesday, uh, in Plainview. You're more than welcome to come. We'll let you know about that. All right, Al? Any other questions, guys? All right. So with that said, um, Guys, I hope everyone learned a lot, and uh, you know, hope everybody realized what trading is all about, and realize that this is, you know, it's not that hard to do. But come out there, try us out, see what it's all about. I'm telling you, it's the greatest job in the world. It's not for everybody, but see what the real truth is. See if see if trading is for you, and and you'll see why we love what we do because it's you know it's the greatest job in the world, and it does pay pretty good. But you got to start from somewhere. All right. Uh, well, you're more than welcome, Al. No problem. I will let you know about that. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for coming. All right. All right, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the staff CTU for making this uh, successful and our partners. And I'll see you all guys in the professional trading room. Thanks, everybody. Good luck trading. Happy, happy, have a, have a great weekend.